Armin Sarukian versus Charles Oliveira takes place this weekend. And I believe Armin Sarukian is going to make easy work of Charles Oliveira, man. I truly believe Armin Sarukian is going to whoop Charles Oliveira bad. I don't see this as that competitive of a fight. I just think Armand is too good for Charles. I think he's better on the feet. I think his wrestling is good enough. And I think his gra grappling is really good, man. I mean, his, his submission defense is some of the best you'll ever see in the UFC. I mean, the guy, people can't even attempt submissions on this guy. And I've seen him defense submissions as well of really high-level practitioners in BJJ. And I just don't see Charles Oliveira submitting him, nor do I see him knocking him out. I mean, yeah, Charles Oliveira has some power, but this is like another level uh, in my opinion, a fighter that he's taking on. I think Armin is the best fighter in, at 155. I believe he beats Islam in a rematch. I believe he is... People are comparing this to other prospects, and this is the issue. When people compare Armin to people like Benoit Saint-Denis, when, when you take a look at Benoit Saint-Denis, he didn't show the skill set and promise of Armin, nor did Fazeev, and those guys still did good against Poirier and Gaethje, and Fazeev and BSD are not Armin, nor is Gamera. I don't... Gamrot technically has a win over Armin, although I do think Armin got robbed. Here's the thing. Armin's just the best out of these prospects. He's the only real deal. He's the only guy that actually is, like, was elite. You know what I mean? And I think Armin is not like those guys. I really, I, I truly do not believe it. And I do think that Charles Oliveira is going to be in there with something special on Saturday night. I don't see him having much of a shot here. I really don't. I, I just, I, I can't see it, like... He's too slow. I think Armin's going to crack him with an overhand to a left hook. I think he's going to catch him with an overhand left hook combo and sleep Charles Oliveira. Or just dominate him for three rounds. Uh, you know what I mean? With with striking, with wrestling. Yeah, Charles Oliveira will have some moments. He will, you know, get back up maybe, attempt some submissions, land some shots here and there. But I just don't think he's going to stop Armin, man. Armin is too good on the feet and too good with his uh, grappling. I think Armin is the, the perfect fighter in that division the only uh, criticism is his submission game he doesn't have much submissions but he's improving his Muay Thai is looking good his footwork his, his speed his hands his kicks his even his defense his technical striking is underrated I mean people say he has no defense he does he has pretty decent defense he doesn't have the best defense but he's not as hittable as people think and his takedown defense is really good as well and I don't see Charles Oliver taking him down Armin can scramble out of situations. He can wrestle his way out of situations. I just don't see Charles being able to deal with this guy, man. I think this guy is way too good for Charles Oliveira. Way too good. And I think he's way too good for this entire division. In fact, I'm willing to say that Armin Sarukian is probably never going to lose ever again. Like I think we've saw, seen his last loss against Gamrot. I think Armin's going to have a, a lucrative title reign where he's getting uh, some big fights. Uh, beating up on big names, beating up on all these guys. I think he's going to be one of the greatest of all time. I think he will retire as uh, the greatest lightweight of all time, 100%. He's going to be the 155 GOAT. And there's nothing that's going to stop that. There's nothing that's going to stop that. I do not see Charles winning this fight. And I'm not even trying to be like different or I'm picking. I really do believe Armin is going to be the 155 GOAT. And I think Charles is kind of a stepping stone to like that next era of Armin Sarukian. So I do think Armin Sarukian is going to win this fight. And he's going to get the title shot probably at the end of the year. But if he doesn't, it's just worse for Islam because Armin's going to get better and better and better. And he's improving. He's young. When he fought Gamrot, he was like, what, 25? Going against a 31-year-old Gamrot in his prime five round, his first five round fight, and he still won. Yeah, this guy is going to be the go in the 155 division. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.